College football season is amongst us, and get ready. Hey, football is returning to the state of Indiana, and a good football program is getting off the ground at Indiana State. Kurt Mallory in studio. Yes, the last name rings a bell. That's because his dad is one of the greatest head football coaches in Indiana football history. Um, we're going to get to the family mm -hmm. ties first. When you took this job and you returned to Indiana, what was the response from your father? Well, you know, go after it. You know, and uh, when I first brought it to his attention, he said, you know what, it's home for us. Go, go do it and uh, make the most of it and go build a championship program. You say this is home. What does it mean to play and coach in the state of Indiana to you? Well, it's where I was, uh, it's where I was married. It's where I went to high school. It's where my children were born. And it uh, gave me an opportunity to be back to where family is and where a lot of my closest friends are. You just started camp a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. Give us your initial uh, impressions of your team. I mean, you took over this program in late January. This is really, other than spring ball, the first time you've gotten to see what these guys can do. Well, it, it shows that these guys have put in work this summer. And uh, these guys came out, came ready to go, and they're eager to go. And you see that. You see the work that they've put in this past summer, and you see that they're ready to be a championship program. Talk about quarterbacks. I was reading. I mean, you got a you got a heck of a competition brewing mm -hmm. down there. Um, what are you looking for out of your quarterback? What do you want the face of your offense to show on the field? Well, you want to see command. You want to see who's going to command the huddle and be able to direct the offense. And we've got four young men that are are competing right now. Four. That's a that's a yeah. big number. As a coaching <laughs> staff, when you see four guys that want to be the guy. How do you even approach that kind of, I don't even want to say it's a dilemma, but that kind of opportunity? Well, these guys all work well together. Uh, they're very, you know, a very unselfish group. Uh, Jeff Heklinski is our offensive coordinator and our quarterback coach and does a tremendous job with these guys. The good thing is they're helping each other. Yeah, they're helping each other get better. And uh, it's a fun group, and it'll be a fun, uh, fun competition throughout two days. Been, I've been doing some research into what we can expect to see from an, a new Kurt Mallory Indiana State offense and really team, and no one has an answer. They, they say that you, I mean, you, we cannot pinpoint, okay, you, you may not be such a power running game mm -hmm. like your father had sure. at IU, but what kind of offense and what kind of defense, mm -hmm. what kind of team will we see from Indiana State this fall? Well, we're going to run the football. And uh, it's always going to start with running the football. Uh, we feel like we've got a really good uh, group of running backs. And uh, we've got a good veteran line. We've got some guys that have played. And uh, they're just coming, you know, coming together. And, uh, but it's been fun to watch, fun to see them grow. And uh, they're buying in. And we're going to run the football. And that's going to be always where it starts with us. Hey, you run the ball, you win games. We all know that. Um, chip on your shoulder. Mm -hmm. Missouri Valley Conference preseason rankings came out. Sure. A lot of people are sleeping on Indiana State. Right. They shouldn't sleep on the, on the trees, should they? Well, you know, we're, we're, we're concerned about ourselves and getting better. And uh, right now, I, uh, I don't put a whole lot of stock in, in preseason rankings and, and where people, uh, you know, might put us as far as first team, all conference, second team. I'm just worried about our football team and getting better. And, and that's. And that's, I just worry about after the season, you know, where we end up after the season. The season begins August 31st. You host Eastern Illinois. Mm -hmm. And then you go on the road to an amazing place to play for college football, one of the true iconic venues in college football, visiting Tennessee mm -hmm. to face the Volunteers. You don't want your guys looking too far ahead, yeah. but when that, when that game is on the schedule, what can that do for this program here at Indiana State? Well, it'll be a great experience uh, for our players to go down there and play. Um, and, uh, but our main focus right now uh, is straight on Eastern Illinois. There's, uh, that's the most important game right now, and that's where our focus is. After that game, we'll look on to the next, but it's, uh, it's to play that night game against Eastern Illinois. Yeah, no better place to be than Terre Haute at night. August 31st, Sycamores hosting Eastern Illinois. Check them out, Kurt Mallory. Thank you for joining us on the Thank Sports you. Jam. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, they say Brown County is a great place to go in the <laughs> fall to wash the trees. No, no, no. Terre Haute instead. Well, thank you.